Christ the Son is the Holy Spirit. In today's Gospel, there is a main point that we need to take to heart. Jesus asked the Samaritan woman for water, but he wasn't really asking for water. He was initiating a conversation where he could talk about the gift of the living water and what that could have meant to her and those living in that area. We all know Jesus did not waste an opportunity to announce the kingdom of God. So let's see the context and the environment of this passage. It was at Bao Noon, and Jesus, tired from his journey, sat down by the well. A Samaritan woman was coming to the well for water on her own instead of with the women of the town, probably because she, was, she may have felt excluded to her sinful past. I think we can all sympathize with this woman. We may have experienced moments of shame of certain actions or words said. Now, back to the gospel at the well, this woman met Jesus and he knew everything about her. Her past and her marriages. But Jesus' view was beyond for her. He had a plan and that plan was to lead her to him to awake the love of the Father in her heart. Jesus offered the gift of living water as the water to sustain her, to support her, to bring her confidence back, to feel accepted and loved for what she truly was, a daughter of God. Jesus uncovered her past so that what was sinful could be healed. She came to the well bringing a jar for water, but she found much more than water. So she left her jar by the well and hurried back to the townspeople whom, he, whom she had been avoid to tell them that she might have found the Messiah. My dear brothers and sisters, when we have a personal encounter with our Lord Jesus, certainly a transformation will happen in our life. I am confident that once we have that encounter, our lives will never be the same. This doesn't mean that we are better than others or that we don't have to continue to work on our faith or that we will no longer sin, but rather that we are a work in progress. And God is always supporting us and guiding us to pick ourselves back up and continue with our journey of faith. In today's gospel, we can see that God loves us unconditionally, that he sent his son to heal us from everything and to restore our trust in him and in ourselves, just like he did with the Samaritan woman during their encounter. Jesus gradually helped the gift of faith to grow in her heart. My friends, God knows that we really, what we really need, not what we think we need. But we need to give ourselves completely to God, to trust completely in God, and allow God be the source of our all existence. Let us continue our journey during this sacred time of Lent. At the end of it, we can have our mind, our heart, and our spirit renewed, to have our fault forgiven, 
and to have grown in holiness. Finally, don't forget that Jesus wants to give us a new identity in himself, to transform us and to awake the love of the Father in our hearts. Amen. Amen.